What is up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. I'm um, so glad you guys could hop on over to my channel. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content caps, <clears throat> if you can ring the little bell by my soul tribe, I super duper appreciate it. Just saying, just saying, just saying. This is Truth Hidden for Sign of Capricorn. This could resonate with Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Midhaven, or Jupiter charts. Um, yeah, so just saying. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Oh. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with you. Okay, here we go. Um, if you think anyone can benefit from these messages, caps, if you wouldn't mind sharing these on your social media, whatever social media platform you use, like Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, <coughs> IG, Mar uh, Mayway, Parlay, I would appreciate it. Um, this could resonate in your Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Haven, or Jupiter. Marry me in parenting. <clears throat> I turned the light off. Just so you know. I turned the light off. And I've got a little lamp going on over here. Because I thought it would be like better ambience. So hopefully I'll be able to see the cards okay. Hopefully you can too. Okay. Someone is about to back out of a relationship soon. Uh, oh, hold on. Wait, I get messages. They have realized their partner is not a good parent. Okay, okay. So someone has um, is going to back out of a relationship soon. They have realized that their, their partner is not a good parent. This is what they don't want you to know, Capricorn. This is what, this is what I was going to say, but I started getting messages in. We got Marry Me, Marry Me Reverse, Parenting Reverse. So, um, for whoever this is resonating, well, for whoever this is resonating with, they're going to back out of a relationship. For whoever this is resonating with, you're in a relationship. It sounds like it's some kind of serious relationship or was going to turn to be serious relationship. But um, they realize that, and this is what they don't want you to know. So, it's somebody to you, Caps. You're in a relationship with somebody. And they, I think, they they don't think you're a good parent. Um, they either think you don't aren't a good parent, or you really aren't. Um, but um, I heard they're going to back out of the relationship soon because they don't think you're a good parent. So for how that resonates for whatever Capricorns. Okay, I didn't hear anything else. Yeah. So. Um, this is that's what I was gonna say, but I started getting messages in. Um, this is truth hidden. So this is what someone in your energy field does not want you to know. It could be anybody, a friend, a partner, a, a past partner, Sally Joe down the street that has so many kids she doesn't know what to do. I mean anybody. Um, the male person, um, a coworker, a, fr a friend, a friend of me, anybody. So just saying. Setting the record straight. Marrying for money. Someone is about to set the record straight that they did not marry for money. Previous partner is what I just heard. Previous partner. So this is what they don't want you to know, Capricorn. Someone's about to set the straight, a record straight that they did not marry for money. And it's a previous partner of yours, Caps. Or a previous partner. So Because this is what they don't want you to know. So they're about to set the record straight that they did not marry for money. And it's a previous partner of a Capricorn's. So however that resonates for whoever. We have um, marrying for money reverse setting the record straight upright. Spirit messages you have for Sonic Capricorn. Feeling like a movie. I'll let you read this one.
someone was trying to block a feminine energy's chances of finding true love. That's what I just heard. Someone was trying to block a feminine, feminine energy's chances of finding true love. Had this feminine energy in her family in a very dangerous situation. Children and single parent is what I heard. Oh, wow. So I heard um, whoever this is, this is what they don't want you to know, Caps, that someone is trying to block a feminine energy's chances of finding true love. I heard um, for whoever this resonates with, um, this is what somebody in your energy field doesn't want you to know, that it was a feminine energy that was being blocked. Is the feminine energy a single parent feminine energy and children? I heard it left the feminine energy single parent and her children in a very dangerous situation. So, this is what they don't want you to know, Caps. Authorities are about to be drugged into this soon. It was on stalemate for a very long time. Okay, I heard authorities are about to be drugged into this soon. It was on stalemate for a very long time. But lots of changes have taken place. But a lot of changes have taken place. So authorities are about to be drug into this very soon. Um, it was on stalemate for a very long time. Um, but lots of changes have occurred. So for however that resonates for whatever Capricorns, it's what they don't want you to know. Someone in your energy field does not want you to know. Okay. Spirit messages you have for Simon Capricorn. Sex shop, a situation is about to explode. A very heated argument is about to occur in a intimate shop soon. The cops are probably going to have to get involved. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Okay. We get a little bit of everything in here, but that's what I heard. Um, I heard a very heated argument is going to occur in an intimate shop soon. So, an intimate shop. So, I, I'm thinking like a triple X shop. You know, like pleasures. Well, we have a shop here in Huntsville, Alabama called Pleasures. It's a triple X shop. That's what I think of um, when I hear intimate shop. But, you know, whatever triple X shop this is referring to, some are, apparently either two people or two or more people are going to hurt a very heated argument. Um, so a very heated argument is, probably, is going to occur between either two people or two or more people in an intimate shop. So a triple X shop somewhere. Um, or the cops are probably going to have to get called. My God. Uh, I mean, it's intimate shops are, you know, their businesses just like Walmart's are or um or Kmart or um their businesses so you know I don't care if you you know there to obviously everybody's there for different reasons um but one united reason in an intimate shop just saying but I don't care you're in a place of business um I heard a very heated argument so I don't know what in the world people are arguing about in an intimate shop but I heard the cops are probably gonna have to get called um just saying. This is what someone in your energy field does not want you to know, Capricorn. I mean, my goodness. I, I can think of some pr pretty creative things in my head of why people might get into arguments at intimate shops, but I don't know. <laughs> you know, everybody's situation is different. I'm just saying. Woo. Also, someone is planning secretly planning on burning an intimate shop down for insurance money oh whoa holy shit oh my god okay well that one's serious oh my god i heard also from spirit i just heard someone is planning on burning an intimate shop down to, um down like burning it down to the ground for insurance money 
Someone really needs to hear this. That's what I just heard. Someone really needs to hear this. Oh my God. Whoa. Well, this is what they don't want you to know, Capricorn. This is truth hidden, but I heard from spirit someone needs to hear this. So it makes me wonder if a Capricorn owns an intimate shop somewhere. Um, like I said, um, intimate shops are like triple X shops. Um, you know, like sex toy shops. Um, I mean, it just got real, really, really fast up in here. Um, really real. I mean, they're a place of business. <clears throat> I mean, so somebody wants to burn a sex shop down for money. So, um, it makes me wonder if, um, and I heard somebody really needs to hear this. So, obviously it's for money. So, whoever wants to burn it down either is co-partners in with this with the intimate shop business uh, because I heard somebody needs to hear this so I'm thinking maybe two or more people co-own this intimate intimate shop and maybe um, because whoever is wanting to burn this shop down is going to benefit financially from it so you have to have ownership in it in some type of way so uh, we're in Capricorn so I think Capricorn is a co-owner and maybe and obviously you don't know that maybe your business owner wants to burn the shop down. You know, um, maybe y'all aren't doing well right now in COVID times, possibly. Um, but I heard somebody really needs to hear this. And obviously, it's a Capricorn. So, I'm just saying. Whoa. Holy freaking A. That's something serious. Okay. Spirit messages you have beside a Capricorn. Closing all doors, a family time. Someone is closing out old toxic connections from their life and focusing on their family. That's what it, oh, okay, that was short and sweet and pretty wonderful. I heard someone is closing out old toxic connections from the past and they're focusing strictly on their family. This is what someone in your energy field doesn't want you to know, Caps. This is wonderful um, for who this resonates with. So maybe a Capricorn was an old toxic tie maybe to somebody um, that re this resonates with is what I'm thinking. But you know, everybody changes. Hopefully people change for the better, but i um, just saying. Okay. We'll do one more. One more. Spirit messages you have beside a Capricorn. Services expecting. Someone is about to get child services called on them again. They are pregnant, but doing drugs is what I heard. <clears throat> wow. Okay, well, child services was reversed, but according to the message, it's obviously upright. Heard someone is about to get child services called on them again. Um, they are pregnant, and they are doing drugs. We have child services upright and expecting upright. I heard again. So, for whoever this is resonating with, you've had child services called on you in the past. But, you know, I mean, just because you've had child services called on you in the past, don't mean you're a bad parent. I mean, I've had child services called on me about six times since I've been single. Um, but I, I've always been a very good parent. Um, we haven't always been the, um, financially the best, but I've always got out there and worked and made it. You know, uh, I worked minimum wage job just to, um, and many, many hours at a minimum wage job before um, to, to provide for my kids. Um, but it's never meant in one stretch that I was a bad parent by any means because I wasn't. Um, but what I'm trying to say is just because you've had child services caught on you doesn't mean you're a bad parent. But I've known many bad parents out there that have never had child services caught on them a day in their life and they need it. So I'm just saying. But for who this resonates with, obviously they are not a good parent. I heard they are pregnant. They've had child services caught on them in the past, but they're pregnant and they're doing drugs. So obviously you're not thinking in the best interest of children or even or the ones you're about to have, obviously. Um, I saw it many times when I worked in the jail. It's really disgusting. 
It really, really is. Putting pregnant people, um, having to call the doctor um, because, you know, you can't put anybody on detox that is pregnant. Um, so you have to call the doctor with that and then explain the situation. I mean, it's really, it's heartbreaking. It's sad. Um, but whoever this was resonating resonate with, they've had it, child services caught on in the past and they're doing drugs and they're pregnant. So how that resonates, um, is whoever this is to you, Caps, um, in your energy field. It could be a family member. It could be a friend. It could be um, a co-worker. Um, you take it how it resonates. Many series of chain of events is going to occur with this situation soon. It's probably going to be the icebreaker for them as far as losing all their children. Wow. I heard many series of chain of events uh, probably going to happen soon regarding this person. Um, and obviously, it's a feminine energy. I heard um, it's probably going to be a deal breaker for an icebreaker, deal breaker, deal breaker soon. They're probably going to end up losing all the children over this. Obviously, they don't act in the best interest of their, ch own ch of their children or the ones about to come. I mean, I'm just being for real, for real about that. So, so for how that resonates. Wow. Okay, well, we're done. We're done, 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 done. Hope this helped for real, for real, for real. Um, per, uh, personal readings permanently closed. Donations, however, super duper greatly appreciated from Bob Mahar Chakra. My single mom raising two kids. I've raised them by myself almost 10 years. Um, drug free, just saying. Uh, and pregnancy free, thank God. But, um, but yeah, so um, all donations are super duper greatly appreciated. High Priestess Turtle 5 is how you can donate to me. Um, you can, um, one, you have to do it through PayPal if you're interested in donating. Two, you have to do it um, through my link, High Priestess Turtle 5. The link's in the description box below. And three, you have to, um, if you decide to donate, which like I said, all donations are super duper greatly, greatly appreciated. Um, you have to, um, after you select your donation amount, because these are all free general readings, there'll be a drop down. So just clear it out, put in donation, the way it is, for tax purposes, just saying. All right, I'll see you guys later. I hope this helped for real. Happy holidays. Namaste.